uh, security will never be far from the thoughts of those attending the European finals this summer, but the show goes on. And the very thought of Germany versus England for real in France sometime in July is the kind of prospect that makes the major international tournaments so special. And Euro 16 is nearly here. And so is a striking England chain strip. It's Muller. Jack Butler, who has just had one 90-minute outing for England in the past, a rather loose one, and here's a, an early chance. Deviera had to be quickly closed down by the combined efforts of Klein and Cahill. Yeah, there's a clearance there, and when you've cleared the ball from that deep, the pitch is really open, and that gives Germany some space just to create something. Kadira puts it on his uh, on his oh. left. He puts almost like an offensive attacking head on when he goes in there. With his Cahill who connects with it. One was connected with Harry Kane too. Yeah. Cahill had a pretty free run at that. He sure did, yeah, it was poor marking. And normally you would hit it and uh, soak up a bit of pressure now. Crossed in by Hector. Towards the head of Hummels this time, and Hummels is still there. And Butland had to make a courageous save. Messer Ozil's on the ball. Hit by Royce. And there's a miss hit in the middle by Gomez, but it felt kindly for Marco Royce, but... First serious action for Jack Butland. Yeah, you see Gomez just winning the first battle in the air there in that box, and Butland has come out. It's given for, but Ali, well, held nothing back, didn't he? And Ali now is clear on the edge of the German penalty area. Decided to try to head it goalers rather than chest it down. I just wondered whether he, if he knew he could have just maybe got that on his chest. He's gone for the first time header. Perhaps he was looking for a call, but you see him score a goal at Everton off his... Era, shown too much of that to Lalana. Kane. Now Henderson, he was aware of Welbeck in space. Ali will hit it first time. And it was always rising, but it was a sweet hit from the right foot of Deli Ali. Yeah, it was a good little position. They just pinched the ball off the Germans. They were slow in building up. And Deli Ali comes onto that other <laughs> yellow card in the meantime. Royce into Muller. No cross. With a bit of space for Kadira, and now for Gomez! His first international goal for going on four years, but it's cancelled out by the linesman. He was offside. Clyde, my first thought was offside when I see it, when he made a lovely little dart in behind. It was a cute ball. Just watch it, it's very close, very tight. Oh, he's on he's onside, isn't Nathaniel he? Daniel Klein on the near side. Klein's just played him on. It's a bit of luck for England. He's took it ever so well. He's gone across Butland. Well, the man of many misses <laughs> has hit the target there and is very unfortunate not to have given Germany. Ali just lifted into the path of Henderson, who couldn't resist. Well, he had Neuer scrambling for a moment, but it was ambitious from a man who's still to score an international goal. It was ambitious, but it was sweet. It was right to hit. That dipping ball. Yeah, trying to stamp the ball into Royce on a run. Crows very measured with his distribution, as his, his chances from range with the volley. Really hard already. They've pinched the two or three balls off him and uh, that time he's gone down and got the foul but they pinch it again in here look Ozil's lost it and here's Kane nothing much to his right but it might come for Welbeck oh terrific challenge and then hit by Lalana. Danny Welbeck just wanted a little too long there here we go again look pinching it again England had done brilliant at that tonight and uh Kane just plays the ball eventually back across to Welbeck. He wasn't quite aware that there was somebody coming in behind. I think it's Chen. Buckland with a hasty clearance. Jack Butland is carrying an injury here 
Tony Kroos is on the ball. And maybe sends that and beats Butler on his post. And Germany take the lead. Jeff Butland slowed down, has been carrying an injury for the last minute or two. And he just seemed to be caught out there by a well-struck shot by Kroos, but one that he would have expected to save. Yeah, he's just kicked there and he's limping. As he's kicked and finished through his kick, he's limped. He's got something wrong with him. I don't know if it's a hamstring or an ankle, but uh, he's not concentrated. He was limping, coming back, and he's got caught. Cruz has just gone early. It's a bit of swerve on it, but Butland's got to save that on his near pose. He knows it. Look at that. He's distraught. I think his mind was elsewhere. It was on the. It was on his actual um, injury. Something's happened to him there. Look. Then he Bubbles. Some space here for Royce, and there's no flag. He's pulled it back to Mario Gomez. It's blocked by Danny Rose. And it's the last action. Close to Ozil. Royce was just bumped by Cahill as the ball arrived at him. Ends up a good. Uh, Royce with the uh, free kick, and Muller might just have got a touch, and Forster just had to help it on its way. Swinging dangerously towards the keeper. Yeah, that's a terrific ball in, isn't it? Royce's delivery. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? In towards Welbeck, over away by Tarp. Chan clear. Owen Smalling has misjudged that. Managed to recover as he presented it to Royce. And got a little lucky there, Chris Smalling. The ball found its way almost magnetically back to him. And England can break with Delhi Alley. Three ahead of him. Alley shooting, and Noy had to make a save. Broke on Germany, and he finds himself in behind. He's struck it really well. It's a great save from Norrie in the sense that it. 1 1 tonight. Up Southgate squads out there at the moment, I think. Lalana on towards Welbeck. Oh, and he's managed to keep it in. Just pickpocket Chan and Henderson with a shot, and it just hit Hector and was diverted rather fortuitously behind for a corner. Good work by Danny Welbeck. Well, it was, yeah, it was poor defending from Chan. Once he's keeps to come, and he should really clear it, he's trying to block it, but Welbeck does great. Pulls it back nicely, nice weighted pass, and uh, Hector doesn't know too much about it. He's tried to side foot it, hit him over the bar. He just got to guide that into one of the bottom corners and close when he needed to. It's a bit unfortunate there, but his closing down is a major, major asset to his game. You know, we talk about his offensive game, but. Kedira in towards Gomez! It's 2 0 to Germany. Mario Gomez denied by a flag in the first half. Has found the net, found himself with a mismatch at the far post, and the big centre forward heads his first international goal for going on for four years. That's a great stand up ball as well from Kadira, which has played it in over the top of Gary Cahill, and uh, Klein can't get himself inside from that position. Gross. has managed to gather that in his stride and he's pulled it back to Ozil and he scuffed it. And England just need to steady here. Well, they do, they do, Clyde, yeah, and the reason is now that they're, they're a little bit down mentally, but their energies are, are not as good as they were early in the game and there's too much... Henderson takes. Oh, it's just over the head of Smalling. Kept alive by Harry Kane. And that's 2-1! First real side of goal tonight for Harry Kane, and he does what Harry Kane does and finds the corner of the net. And England are back in business with half an hour to play. What a goal this is. What a fantastic bit of skill from Harry Kane. It really is. He looks as if he's going to lay it back to the midfield. Two defenders go with him, and he just whips it around. A little Cruyff. Got to say it, a little Cruyff. And he goes through the legs of the defender, and there's no chance for Neuer. That is a wonderful, wonderful striker's goal. What a lovely little tribute to the great man in this week. All Harry Kane's three previous international goals have come from the substitutes bench. Ali 
it to Kane. Now Welbeck. It's just behind Lalana. Might still come for Ali. Saved by the foot of Neuer. Mesmerising attack from England. Superb combination. Kane's going to play the one-two. Welbeck with good quick feet. A lovely Lalana pass. It comes to Deli Ali. And he... Lifted forward by Dyer towards Ali on a run. It'll fall for Harry Kane. Kane going for glory from way out. Just bursting with confidence. Yeah, he just picks up a loose ball there, and one of the things he's got in his mouth. Ozil. He'll first to it. Barkley. Ali. Barkley and Ali did play from the start together against France in the last international. Barkley's found Klein with a speedy burst, and that's terrific from Vardy! Oh, what a goal by Jamie Vardy! Everything he touches turns to gold. England on terms. And Jamie Vardy's first international goal is memorable. That's top quality, isn't it, from, from the whole team. The way they've shifted the ball quickly, a great ball from Klein. And Vardy gets across the front of the defender. What a bit of skill this is. The two goals England have scored have been of pure quality. Look at this. Great cross. And that is... Play from Ali once more. Some space here for Jordan Henderson. That was curling and judging by his expression, not curling too far away. Yeah, good play from Barkley. Turned sharp, created space for Henderson, and he's gone with the eyes. He's shaped up as if he's going to the left of Neuer. Tried to whip it back in the other corner. Just hasn't hit the target tonight. He's had three good opportunities. Oh, that's been won by Vardy. Pulled back for Ali. Oh! A chance to win it. He's done nothing wrong all night long. 84th minute, goal gaping. And his worst moment of the night by far. Yes. Dreadful play, you've got to say, from Germany, but a good performance. But, uh, you know, results the result. If it is 2 2, the way they've performed is, uh, is important. Henderson takes. In towards Dyer! Just caps it off. Eric Dyer's first England goal is a winner in Germany. They come from 2 0 down here with half an hour to play. And from the moment the hurricane brought them back into this game, England have looked capable of winning it. Well, it's a better ball in from Henderson as well. It's a lower trajectory that a lot of his corners have been too high, and Germany have been zonal marking. And that's the ball that you need to put on the home against uh, the world champions. England win in Germany three times in a row. Eric Dyer's thumping header, crowned a comeback. A final score in the Olympia Stadium. Germany two, England three.